How's it going everyone? It is only here. Welcome back to another video course as always. Today, let's talk about Microsoft's E3 press conference. Kind of like a preview of it, going over my hopes and predictions on what I think we'll see next week, or I guess later this week, because it is, yeah, this Sunday. Predict setting stuff, we're finally here pretty much at the week starting of E3. I mean, it's always kind of like the Monday, but yeah, we always get those press conferences on Sunday nights from now on, and yeah, we're kind of in the week if that makes sense and yeah let's just go over everything i think we're gonna see about it because if i'm being completely honest based on all the press conferences that we have and kind of you know even if you include like the directions and stuff from nintendo microsoft is definitely the big boy because yeah it is pretty much the biggest out of the three that are going to be there in terms of like third party announcements exclusives next generation talk it's all going to be found on this press conference so really a lot of that's going to come down to surprises of course a lot of that's going to be hard to predict i kind of threw my hat in the ring with some things i think we'll see a lot of it in terms of like surprise third party games i only have a guess at but a lot of them are going to be surprises and those are the best parts is when you don't expect it like last time we got like cyberpunk dying light 2 we got a lot of cool third party games and yeah it was definitely parts of like the best of that show like sekiro yeah let's just go over it what do i think they're going to start the show off you know they always start the show off with usually either like a big third party game or a big first party game last year they started off with halo infinite Again, that's probably their biggest first party game right now, if you're, you know, talking about that. I mean, Gears 5 is probably a close second, but I'd definitely say it's probably Halo Infinite. To me, the way they start off this press conference is they either get Gears of War already out, you know, with like a September date or a fall date, whatever was like was rumored, either get that cleared up first, but I think they're gonna wanna go bigger. So I'm expecting them to either do like a Halo Infinite, like re-reveal again this year at the start of the conference or Cyberpunk 2077. I feel like those are like two big guns that you can start off the show. I don't see those ending the show and those are big caliber games. So I think they're gonna start the show, one of those two. So yeah, I think this will also kind of segue into next generation talk. I fully plan for them to like, at least go into details like Sony did that with the Wired magazine. We might even get like a name drop. We're certainly gonna get specs, obviously. Maybe they'll talk about the year. Maybe they're gonna talk about how it's gonna come out in fall 2020. There's rumors of two models. I fully expect them to only talk about the first model, the more expensive model, because yeah, the cheaper model isn't something you really gotta advertise. The cheaper model is mainly for the casuals that really don't care. Like sure, it's still gonna be a couple hundred dollars, but it definitely is like not for the core consumer or at least like the people that are watching E3. Like even saw when they announced the discless Xbox model, that came out literally like a couple, maybe a couple weeks after they announced it earlier this year. Yeah, those things you don't really need to show off that far in advance. The cheaper model is probably gonna be saved for next year but for like the anaconda console definitely expect probably at least the specs maybe we'll see something running on it of course like you know games that are going to come out for the system next fall they're not really ready to be shown yet a lot of the stuff is kind of not necessarily early but nothing like you want to really show off you know maybe microsoft does want to push some of their first party launch titles up here into this press conference similar to e3 2016 with sony kind of like need that now that sony's not going to be there they might want to take advantage of that you know, that's probably the boldest that they will go. I don't think they're going to go anything past that, obviously, because you still need momentum for next E3, and you can't really lose that. So, yeah, what they talk about next generation-wise, you can expect at least the specs, maybe a name drop, maybe some dates. But, yeah, besides that, I'm really interested in seeing what kind of direction they talk about next generation. Maybe they'll just talk about their overall goal with next gen and how it's going to incorporate, like, the people that currently own an Xbox or PC. Whatever they do with Anaconda, I'm looking forward to that. Gears of 5, even if that doesn't start it, we're definitely not probably going to see this early on because this game is going to be coming out later this year. It's definitely one of their bigger titles, but it's also something we already know about. I think there was rumors it was going to come out in September. Yeah, if it, that's the case, they're probably going to show that off within like the first couple of games that show off and yeah, get a date with that. Definitely is one of my most anticipated Xbox games. Definitely was the one that probably was the highlight of last year's for me. The Acquired Studios they showed off last year. I definitely feel like we're going to get an update on at least half of those studios, maybe even more than half. And yeah, I feel like the only studio that, that might not show off anything is the Initiative because that seems like their most ambitious studio. And I feel like you want to save that for E3 2020 when the console is going to be literally dropping later that fall after E3. You want to have the momentum going in when, you know, all eyes are on you for the console that said year, you know. Definitely want to save that one in my opinion, especially since it's early on, it's the most ambitious. But things like Ninja Theory's game, Playgrounds, like Ruben RPG from like over a year ago, those things are fair game, those things you want to show off, especially with Sony not being here, they want to want to kind of take the momentum and show those titles off and why you want to have an Xbox 
or at least, you know, Game Pass, whatever they're trying to push here. Fully expect at least some of those studios to show off what they're working on now. You know, obviously Microsoft exclusive since they acquired them. So yeah, pretty exciting stuff there. Remember that rumor from Software Game a couple weeks ago? I definitely fully expect that. And yeah, I believe that rumor was dead on. You know, usually when From Software Games kind of leak, they're usually pretty straight on. And I've even said myself, I was fully expecting From to be at this E3 because they just have a tendency to be at the E3 after they just ship the game. Like I believe Dark Souls 3 was right after Bloodborne. And yeah, Bloodborne was shown off right after Dark Souls 2. And they're always like E3 games revealed. So yeah, I fully believe that rumor. I definitely think we're going to see it. And yeah, what I believe beyond that, I believe that game's 2020, obviously, because they just shipped Sekiro. Probably spring 2020 if they want to keep in tradition with their usual releases, like in March and stuff, so. Looking forward to seeing that game. Cyberpunk, as I hit it on earlier, if we don't see it in the beginning, we're definitely going to see it somewhere in this press conference, of course. You know, they even said, like, CD Projekt Red, that this is going to be their biggest E3 yet. Fully expect them to do a new gameplay demo then. And yeah, spring 2020, that game is definitely not this year. Spring 2020 at the earliest. And yeah, looking forward to seeing that. I also heard that they were like rumored of like shipping a game before 2021, which would also make it next year. So if that smaller scale game is still coming out before 2021, maybe they showed it off here as well. So yeah, maybe that's why it's their biggest E3 yet. Maybe they're showing off two titles instead of one. Of course, that second title being not as big a caliber as like Cyberpunk 2077. Rocksteady, I believe, will break tradition and reveal their game on Microsoft Stage this year. I've been predicting this for a while now, and I just don't see how you go past this E3 and still be quiet. Like, it's been over four years almost at this point now since we've really heard from them in terms of, like, a main game. Of course, we got Arkham Knight VR back in, like, the fall of 2016. Yeah, they've been quiet for way too long. It's definitely time for them to reveal their game. Um, I really don't want to go into specifics, but I will say it's probably going to be DC related because I don't see them going and branching out of the, like superheroes or working with Marvel. I definitely think it'll be DC related. And I don't think that game's going to come out this year. Maybe it's a surprise coming out this year, but I doubt it. You know, I think they did that with like Arkham Knight or something like that where it's going to come out later in the year. But that might also be a 2020 game. I don't want to say everything's going to be 2020, but that's what it's kind of looking like. So yeah, I fully expect that game to be shown off at Microsoft gauge because it's just strictly time like it's one of those games where i'm gonna be surprised if we see it but also not surprised like it's due time yeah again going to third party games i can't really predict everything here i'm sure we're gonna see some double dips like we might see some games that are gonna be shown off at like ubisoft's conference also shown off here like they usually do and you know third party games new third party games maybe Watch Dogs gets revealed here and we see more at you know ubisoft's conference the next day because yeah they've done that before in the past with like assassin's creed games and wouldn't be surprised an update on Sea of Thieves is probably imminent. I'm not expecting anything else from Rare. I think Rare and Initiative are probably going to hold off on showing off their games here and probably wait till E3 2020. xCloud will probably get an update. That's like their whole streaming initiative of, you know, playing your Xbox games anywhere. Definitely expect that to probably get a rollout of like private beta like they've been teasing for a while now. Wouldn't be surprised. I'm sure other first party games might be shown off here like Ori 2, I'm fully expecting that obviously. Maybe we get a surprise first party game like Rise, Son of Rome 2, I don't know, these things are always like kind of hard to predict. I don't know how many Xbox games we're really going to get before, you know, they go off to next gen. I'm not sure their plans for next gen either, they might be, you know, all in one because yeah, Xbox doesn't seem to like spread the player base out of like different consoles, like all the games are on PC now anyways, so yeah, who knows what they show off here in terms of surprises like that. Really, it's like a mixed bag. I'm looking forward to Microsoft's a lot. Definitely like the conference I'm looking forward to the most. I don't want to really go into anything more because honestly, we don't really know that much. We fully expect them to talk about, you know, the next generation plans like Sony did and fully expect them to show off as many first party games as they can with also saving some stuff for like, you know, the future because yeah, that's going to burn them out. They reveal all their cards of all their new studios, but we should get a healthy dose of reasons to be excited for or reasons to own an Xbox, hopefully. So yeah, that's really all you really want from Xbox right now is just to show a promising start for their next generation talk and really have that kind of momentum going forward and give Sony a run for their money and competition is always good. So yeah, if we can get a good showing from them, I believe their past conferences have been really good. I've really liked them in the past couple of years and this one's looking to be even better. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Just six days away at this point. Let me know your predictions down in the comments down below. What are your hopes? What are your predictions? What do you expect to see? Are you looking forward to it? You know, I know a lot of people that are just saying, oh, E3 is going to suck this year. I fully do not expect that. Third party games are probably going to be harder than ever. And yeah, I've been online. I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to leave a like to show your support. Make sure to subscribe if you have not done already so. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video or live stream. Take care, everyone, and have a good rest of your day.